Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about some new screenshots of SnowRunner that have been released as well as some confusion that may have been going around about the release date due to a website called PlayAsia releasing a supposed release date and some people were believing it was correct, however, I'm not so sure. So that's what we're going to be talking about in this video and I hope you guys enjoy and stick around. Now, the picture in question was this. Not really the picture, but the website in question was this. And as you can see, it says expected to ship December 31st, 2020. Now, I feel like that's a little far-fetched. And the only reason why I feel like that's a little bit far-fetched is because if that was the actual release date, if that was the actual date that the game was going to ship, they would have announced an actual release date, like, from the developers by now. Because as we know, we don't have an official announcement about it yet, apart from early 2020, and I say that with air quotes. Now, the fact that we don't have a concrete release date yet sort of worries me because I really hope this game doesn't get pushed back to like, you know, March and then April and then May and then eventually becomes like a September 2020 release. Now, if that's what they have to do to make it right and make it, you know, perfect down to what they want, then I get that and I understand. But they've been being very, very cagey about, you know, when this game is going to be released apart from early 2020 and... I'm kind of worried that they use the term early 2020 so they can be a little bit flexible with it because early 2020, as we know with other games in the past, not necessarily from this manufacturer or, or this developer, but just with other games that have released in past years, early, you know, early in the year can turn into midway to the year, which can turn into late in the year, which can turn into, like, the first quarter of the following year. So, do I think SnowRunner is going to be pushed that far out? No, I don't think it's going to be pushed to, like, 2021. There's no way. And I do think that there's a chance of it coming sooner rather than later because new screenshots like this are going out to these different websites and because of the fact that it, that a sort of supposed release date surfaced that sort of makes me think that it may be coming sooner than later. But let's get into the screenshots now. Now, the first screenshot that we're going to be taking a look at involves what looks like a deuce and a half pulling a fuel trailer through a snowy woods in what looks like maybe the maybe the Alaska map. I want to say that that's probably the Alaska map. Um, and I want to say that right off the bat, the theme throughout all of these screenshots is the fact that the balance of colors is really, really, really good. Like, really, really, really good. And when I say that it's really good, I mean it because there's no, there, there's no comparison between the way the, the 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 balance of colors and the contrast looks in these SnowRunner screenshots, um, but and the way that the colors looked back in MudRunner. Now, if you look at the gameplay on the screen right now, once I get out of the map anyway, you'll see that my uh, MudRunner has a graphics mod running, and the reason why it has a graphics mod is to brighten up and richen up the colors because that was always an issue for me with Spin Tires the Original and Mud Runner because the graphics always looked very gray, very washed out almost, and I really wanted a way to kind of bring those colors back into the game because nobody wants to look at a washed out kind of grayish looking environment forever, so I'm really excited that they're bringing that element of color back into SnowRunner. Now, this next screenshot is one of my absolute favorites that I have seen so far, and it is this beautiful western star in front of a dam, and just kind of, you know, chilling in the grass next to some trees and the water, like, and the water, because this truck, in particular, just, in, in my opinion, just looking at this screenshot, it just screams quality, it just screams, like, time and effort put in, and it just seems to be one of the standout trucks in all of these screenshots to me. Now, there are a couple of other standouts for sure, but this is one of the main standout trucks, and this particular environment, too, has me going like, oh my god, that looks great, because it just really has a very uniquely um, sort of American feel just to the environment, the truck, just everything involved there looks to be exactly along the lines 
of what they were trying to go for in SnowRunner as a game as far as the American-based environments. Now, of course, they have the Russian-based environments too, which there are some screenshots detailing those, but that screenshot right there was one of those screenshots that just got me excited immediately. Like, I could not look at that screenshot and not be excited. It was, like, so good. Quickly moving along to the next one, though, this one is one that should get a lot of you guys excited because it shows an older Chevrolet 1500 as well as another commercial truck driving around a small town that looks sort of similar to the small towns we've seen in Mudrunner before, but, but, this brings up the question of, is there any sort of chance there might be traffic? I highly doubt it. I mean, this, that would probably be something way down the road, but we can dream, right? Now, this is probably what multiplayer is going to look like with trucks driving around. And honestly, if you get into an environment where you've got some people driving around in commercial trucks, other people driving around in little pickup trucks, it, you could technically sort of pull off a role play, uh, like a realistic role play based environment. But do I think many people are going to do that? Probably not, but I th still think it's a really, really cool shot to look at. And again, the colors here are really, really bright and really, really vibrant. I mean, the sky, the the, the red on the pickup truck, the, the orange and yellow, well, kind of like deep maroon and yellow on the commercial truck, and then the trees, and just everything looks so nice that graphically, I think this is going to be the best... Uh, the best Mudrunner-based game in a long time, if not ever. Moving along to the next screenshot now, what you're going to see here is a lot of green. Like, seriously, a massive amount of green. Now, you see the sun back there in the distance kind of illuminating everything, but there's so much greenery in this shot, like with the trees, the grass, the tall grass, the shrubs, the like, and then just the cabin tucked in there. Not only is that really cool, but you also see one of the Russian trucks just kind of driving its way slowly out of the forest. Now, this shot kind of gives me a little bit more of a vibe of like, you know, doing some logging, a little bit more chill, nothing too crazy. It doesn't really, doesn't really give you any of that feeling of like, oh my god, you know, insane crazy gameplay, but it sort of gives you that little bit more of a feeling of like, relaxed gameplay. And the cool thing about this game, and the way it's always been, is the fact that you could play it in sort of a little bit more high-stress, high-intensity way, or you could play it in a more chill way. And I know people that play it in, in both ways. I mean, if you want to play the game very slowly, very deliberately, and slightly relaxed, you can actually have a fairly relaxed experience within a spin tires or mud runner game or now once this game releases a snow runner game because i mean you look at that and again all the colors just make the environment so pretty to look at and to interact with that honestly that remains the standout feature of this series next up we're getting a close-up look at the mud in this screenshot now, I don't know the name of this vehicle. I do remember them releasing it, but that fence looks straight out of Mudrunner. I'm not kidding. It literally looks like they picked it up out of Mudrunner and dropped it into SnowRunner. However, the mud looks to be a little bit better detailed, and the water um, kind of going through the mud looks to be a little bit better detailed, and it looks like there's a little bit more going on. And also, if we are to be believed that they just drove that in there and didn't, like, drop it in with some sort of developer tool... If this screenshot is to be believed, we're not necessarily going to have as big of a problem with mud sort of chunking on the tires. Because that was one of my biggest graphical issues with Mud Runner is that the mud would just awkwardly chunk on the tires instead of just sort of realistically like building up and then falling off later on as you drove down pavement or something like that. So hopefully this shot is, is very... Um, very, very, very indicative of what's to come in, in terms of mud on tires. I'm really hoping that that's what this is describing here. If it's not, I mean, it's not going to be a deal breaker. It's not going to be a game breaker. But if, it's, if, if this is to indicate what's to come, I'm very, very excited and very interested in seeing where we can go from there. Now, I do usually like to save some of the best for last, and this next screenshot is no exception, because as you get a chance to look at this shot, you can take in, like, just about everything about it. Because, think about this. You've got a dark, dark night. You've got a, a ridiculously huge fuel trailer. You've got these, like, 
oil rigs. Like, there's so much going on that I, like, looking at this shot, it makes me almost wonder if there's going to be objective-based gameplay surrounding oil. You know what I mean? Like, actually transporting it. So, that could be really, really cool, or they could have just taken a fuel truck and parked it next to, you know, some oil equipment. That's also possible. So, is th does that confirm anything objective-based about that shot? No, but does it raise the question? Absolutely. Absolutely it raises the question. And last but certainly not least, we see a Hummer with some ridiculous tires on it and i'm talking about these things look like you know they look like mud bogs almost not necessarily paddle tires paddle tires are an entirely different thing but they look like atv tires in my opinion because if you just like if you zoom in a little bit and look at them they're pretty ridiculous and they're actually a different compound than i think i've seen on any other truck of this category in a spin tires game before so if we're getting some new tire compounds or if that's an indication of a little bit more like customization features that would be really 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 cool and definitely something that i'm down to see more of so if that indicates that we're going to see a little bit more around the customization side and you know swapping out wheels and tires i am always 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 down for that now you guys i want you guys to let me know in the comment section below what your favorite upcoming feature of snow runner is or what features you would like to personally see. And if you are new around here, make sure to subscribe for more to stay up to date and also hit that notification bell. Like the video if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.